What's going on guys? In this video, I want to talk about how we can use Boto 3 to interact with uh, EC2 instead of S3. So all the other videos we've been uh, working with S3, but now we're going to work with uh, AWS EC2. Um, so if you head over to the console, you can see I have I've clearly been playing with uh, the EC2 instances here. Um, I was just making sure it was working. I, I created a bunch of uh, just uh, test instances and I actually deleted them all. So except these two, these are ones that I'm actually using. Um, but yeah, so let's just first create a new Python script called um, EC, let's say launch EC2 instances. And just actually let's Google, Google how to do this. So Boto3 launch instance. And I'm going to look at Stack Overflow. And I think this was the example that I like to use here. So I'm going to copy that and just paste it in here. And you can see we're just importing Boto. So instead, remember we used in these other ones, we set this S3 resource. Now we're using this um, EC2 resource. And you can see here, we're setting this instance equal to ec2.create instances. So this is what's actually gonna create the instances. And here we're specifying what image ID. So this is like what, basically what operating system do you wanna, like what kind of EC2 instance do you wanna launch? So if we go over to EC2 and just pretend to launch an instance here, um, you'll see each one has this AMI ID. And AMI just means Amazon machine image or Amazon Amazon machine. It's either machine image or machine ID, but um, that's what, oh, this is cool. They actually have Macs now. So th these are pretty new, these Mac uh, images, but I'm pretty sure they're really expensive. So I would avoid those for now, but uh, I usually use Ubuntu. So I'm gonna grab the image ID and paste that here and min count one max that's just how many instances are going to be launched so if i change this to two it's going to launch two of these and instance type it's pretty self-explanatory that's just the type of instance so i'm sticking with t2 micros because those are small and cheap and free tier eligible um yeah so then instead of printing instance i'm just going to print the whole instance not i'm not going to print a specific ID since we're launching two I want to see everything that's getting launched so let's just before we run this let's take a look at how it looks now so there's two running you see that there's two running now when I click when I run this we should get two more created nope invalid ID I must have copied this oh I have a sp see that extra space I have there so let's try that again. Okay, so it finished it, and then it printed the instance and you can see we have these two instances. So these must be the new IDs that we created. So if we go back and refresh this and we need to clear this instance state running because these are still booting up. Okay, here we go. So now these are all the ones from earlier when I was testing before I started the video. Uh, these pending ones, these should be our new ones that we just launched. So let's just make sure these line up. So this one ends in CAFD, CAFD, and f uh, 4C46. Yep. There we go. So those are up and running. So that's how you launch instances from Python. So super easy. Um, this is how a lot of infrastructure is built out um, automatic or programmatically. So if, if you have like like um, templates that you wanted to use and certain things that you wanted to build, you, you, you could use this to do that instead of manually building all that infrastructure. Um, yeah, so now you might be thinking, all right, I have these instances I want to, how do I delete them? I, I want to get rid of them. Uh, that's a good question. So let's Google Boto3 how to delete or how to terminate instance. Uh, let's see what this guy has to say. Import Boto 3. EC2 instances, filter, instance IDs, terminate. Let's just, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one, but let's, 
bring it into our code. I don't like that. All right, let's just, I'm not gonna run anything yet. Okay, so here it's just asking for the instance IDs and I believe we can just pass this as a list. So if we grab our IDs and put it in a string. And then put the second one in there. We want to delete this one. Okay, that should make sure to comment this out, otherwise it's gonna create two more. Um, let's get rid of these spaces. All right, let's try this. So this should terminate those two. Okay, it looks like it worked. Um, so now we should see, there we go, shutting down, cool. So that's how you do that. Um, I think the only other thing I wanna show you with EC2 instances is how to just describe all the instances we have. Um, Photo3 EC2 describe instances. And let's see here, describe instances. Let's see what this gives us. Make sure to comment this one out. No resource. I think there, no. Hmm. We don't like that one. So, I'm trying to find EC2 list. I just basically just want to list all instances that are in my account. Hmm, just one sec. Let me just Google through here. All right. Here we go. Um, let's try this. So we need to keep our EC2 object here. And now we're setting a variable called instances equal to, and we're filtering this request here. So we're filtering name, instance state name, values stop terminated. So let's just see what this returns. Cool. So this is giving us, I guess all of the stopped and terminated. So I wonder, I bet we can say instead of filter, if we don't want to filter this, we should just be able to say all. Similar to how we use um, Boto3, I mean, Boto3 for S3. Remember how we were getting all of the um, objects back from the bucket? So yeah, now we have these T T3 smalls, and these are the ones that I know I keep running because these are what I use for actual work. So now if we list this again, we shouldn't see those T3 smalls. And let's just say, I just want to see all the terminated. Actually, yeah, let's look at all the terminated. Cool. And instead of that, let's say running. There we go. So that that's basically how you filter and search for um, your EC2 instances. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much all I wanted to show you and um, hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.